Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I got a crazy story that's coming out of ghetto ass Georgia. Once again, Georgia is back in the damn news. So what happened is that there's an eight year old girl and her name is Alania Hubbard. This little girl is adorable, she is beautiful. So what happened is that her grandmother decided to put extensions in her hair. Supposedly this little third grader who's eight years old wanted extensions in her hair. So what happened is that when Alania went to school, Kids started picking on her like, oh, why are you wearing a weave? And they were making fun of her and they kept pulling her hair. And for two weeks, they tormented this girl. They kept pulling her hair to the point where this girl got jumped and they ripped the hair out her head. She was attacked so severely that she's now left with scars and she had to have surgery to repair the damage to her scalp. This whole situation is just insane. I'm so tired of this bullying. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a news clip, and then I will come back with the rest Those of my injuries were so severe that she had to go to the emergency room with a ripped scalp. Channel 2's Carl Willis now live in Carroll County with how the family's trying to help her and other children, Carl, who've been bullied. Well, this little girl tells me the bullying started right here on her school bus and then spread to the hallways and even the class in her school. And it was so severe that it landed her in the ER. Ayalani Dunbar is a typical eight-year-old. It'll be easier, oh, yeah. no. But the Carroll County third grader is recovering from what her family calls an extreme case of bullying. They say her schoolmates pulled her hair so hard over a two-week period that they eventually ripped off a part of her scalp. They kept pulling it and pulling it, and especially on my playground, because everybody got a chance, and I was in the gazebo sitting there crying and crying because I have no friends to play with. And that'll protect me. But Ailani's family is speaking out to protect her and other children who were bullied. They say one of the boys who started this attack was given an in-school suspension, but that's it. Grandmother Doris Bearden says Ailani wanted longer hair, so she bought her extensions. She steps in the door of that school, and the first thing they do is attack her and start ripping her hair out. But Bearden says she was shaken to her core when she first saw the injury. Just the horror of it. I just started to cry, and I cried as I unbraided her hair, and the hair fell out in my hands. Bearden says doctors told her that the little girl may never grow hair on that part of her scalp again, and she had to shave her head to avoid any further infection. That's why Elani's mother and aunt, and even strangers, have shaved their heads to help make a wig. It's not only a temporary effect, it's something that could scar for life. Now, the family says they've taken this to the sheriff's office as well. For now, they ask people to donate hair to Locks of Love for Ailani and other children in need. Reporting live in Carroll County, Carl Willis. Okay, so you just watched a news clip, and I, and I love how her family members decide to shave their heads to show her support. But there's quite a few things that bother me with this story. One, at eight years old, that little girl is gorgeous. For her to not have a piece of hair on her head and to look at her face and look at her features, that little girl's beautiful. She has beautiful shaped eyes, beautiful nose. She's a pretty little girl. She didn't need extensions. That's my issue with this story is where is the self-love? At eight years old, you do not need a weave in your head. You do not need extensions. You need to be learning to love yourself for what you have. I don't care if she didn't have long hair because as pretty as she is now bald, I'm sure she looked just fine before. Now, I'm not making excuses for the bullies, but I think as adults and as parents, we need to teach our children to love themselves the way that God made them. Stop allowing them to grow up so fast. Now, she was 15 and 16 and she wanted to change her look and get some extensions. I could see. But in the third grade, at eight years old, she didn't need any extensions. She's a beautiful girl. Now, with that being said, to these bullies who felt like it was their place because they didn't like her extensions to put their hands on her, I think they all should be charged. You know, this bullying is just getting out of control out here in this world. You have so many people who are punks. When you get them by themselves, they won't bust a grape. But once they get into a group and they get into a little inner circle, then they get big and bad. It took a bunch of girls to jump this girl and rip the hair out of her head. Why is hair so important to these kids out here? It's sad. It seems like it's getting younger and younger. A few months ago, I did a story about the girl in Chicago who was 13, who was jumped because she had long, beautiful, natural hair. They lit her hair on fire. We have to start teaching our kids at a young age to love themselves. It doesn't matter if your hair is not silky straight. It doesn't matter if your hair is not to the middle of your back. You have to work with what the hell you have. Anybody can grow their hair. There's no need to be jealous. 
You know, and I think for them to think that it's okay to put their hands on her and to attack her like that, this shouldn't just be in school suspension. All these kids need to be charged with something. These kids to me need to be charged. I'm not saying put, you know, criminal charges on the record because they're young, but they need to be held responsible for what they did. What they did was attack that girl and assault her. And if me as an adult was to do something like that to somebody my age, I'd be doing jail time right now. I don't care if they're eight and I don't care if they're in the third grade. It's never okay to attack somebody over some bullshit, over something as petty as them having a hair weave. How the hell is her having a hair weave affecting you in any type of way? And that's the problem now. It's just too many people out. That's the problem now. There's too many damn kids out here thinking that they're so damn grown. These kids, the parents ain't telling them nothing. The, the parents are out here not teaching them shit, not talking to their kids. You got these little girls walking around with self, with low self-esteem. And then when they see somebody who's getting a little bit of attention or who's feeling good about themselves, they want to hurry up and tear that down. They want to make them feel as bad and as low as they feel about themselves. You know, this whole situation is just messed up all the way around. These kids need to be punished. They need to be spending some time in juvenile detention. They need to be in anger management classes. They need to take them to a home, have them volunteer. They need to be doing more than just sitting at home, watching TV and playing video games while they're out on suspension. They need to be in trouble because what they did to this child was straight up criminal and there's no excuse for that. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on the entire situation. How do you feel about Alania's mother putting weave in her hair? Do you think that she was wrong for doing that? And how do you feel about what these kids did to her for having weave in her hair? And what do you think should happen to these kids? Because I personally don't think that the suspension is good enough for what she went through. Somebody would be paying my child's hospital bills. Somebody would be paying for my child's emotional distress. Uh-uh, we're just not going to deal with a suspension. Those kids need to be dealt with accordingly. So anyways, go ahead, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts on the entire situation. Alright, deuces.